Hey everybody, Tim Norris here, aka Gray Elephant. And Carmen Norris. And welcome to a live play by Gray Elephant Gaming. What are we playing today? Today we're playing Seven Wonders Duel. Or Duel, as they say in France. Do they say that in France? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Now, if you're familiar with Seven Wonders, this game is going to be very simple, very intuitive, but this game is a specifically designed two-player variant of Seven Wonders, but it also has its own legs. Uh, there are a few additions to the game that help bring balance to a two-player game. Just like the Force. The light side, dark side, there has to be balance, right? No, it's nothing like that at all. Nothing like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the game out in real time, and then... Um, we also suggest that if you want to know what our opinion of it is, is that you're going to go and check out our... Quick review. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to sit down and it's going to be like an even after game report of mm -hmm. what we think of Seven Wonders Do Well and uh, kind of make the comparisons to its big brother, Seven Wonders. All right, so we got the game all set up here. And if you notice, th this is nothing like uh, the typical Seven Wonders. Uh, instead of getting a hand of cards and then, you know, picking one and drafting one and then giving your hand to your opponent and then they draft one and give it back to you. Instead, the cards are laid out like this. And uh, the way that this works is, is you'll just select a card. And in fact, I am first player, so I could select a card. I'll put it in my tableau. Bam, that is my turn. Um, now you can do different things with the cards and I'll explain what you can do, but let me explain this first. Now let's say if Carmen wanted to, she could take the wood. Now whenever you uncover a card, that's when it'll flip over, all right? Or or it's available for you to be able to grab. And what I mean by that, notice some of them already flipped over. So once these two cards are off the top of this card, then it would be available for us to take. Um, but you can't take a card until it uh, doesn't have anything covering over the top of it. Uh, just like typical Seven Wonders, you're going to use these resources that are here on some of these brown and gray cards to be able to try to get other cards. Um, if you're not familiar with Seven Wonders, this would be the cost of the uh, card right here. So like for instance, if I wanted to get this stone card, uh, I'd have to pay one money to the bank to be able to grab that. Um, this one would cost two money for this military action, one money for this paper, three money for this uh, uh, ability here, which says that for, from now on for the rest of the game, you could pay one money for brick. And what I mean by that is if you don't have the resource, um, in, in the old Seven Wonders, you, you, you would look at your opponent and see if they had that resource and you would pay them. But instead, now you can just buy from the bank and it costs you two coins for each resource that you're missing. However, if your opponent has any of those resources in their tableau, you got to pay one extra money for each one of their icons. So, for instance, if I had stone in my tableau down in my city like this and Carmen needed stone because she had none, she would pay two to the bank plus one extra because I have one symbol of stone here in my tableau. Um, and then if you notice, like up here, this would cost one stone to be able to build this uh, the baths. But it um, gets paid to the bank. Everything goes to the bank. You don't pay your opponent anything. Um, so that's how you pretty much just build cards. Now, the other thing you can do is you can discard a card and gain money. You're going to gain two money for every card. So you can say, I don't want this card. It's not going to my city. It's just going to go up here into a discard pile. I'm going to get two money for that card from the bank. How, and then you're going to gain one extra money for every yellow card that's in your city. So if I had this yellow card down here, and then I said I don't want this stone for some bizarre reason, um, I would get two money for this card. It would be discarded plus one extra, so I'd get a total of three coins added to my bank. We each start with seven coins at the beginning of the game. Um, the other thing you can do is you can use a card to build one of your wonders. Now, we have already drafted our wonders, just so you know. Uh, the way that this works is that I, I took one, Carmen took two, then I get the last one, then we set up another deck of uh, set of four, and then Carmen took one, I took two, and then she took one. And there's several different types of actions that will uh, transpire as you build these wonders, but you can take a card, you can discard it, and just place it up underneath your, your wonder like that, pay the resources that are listed here on the side, and then you'll get these respected actions. So, for instance, this one will allow me to tear up a card in her tableau, a gray card, plus I get a military action, plus at the end of the game, three victory points, if it gets to the end but of the game. But don't literally tear up cards. I don't you might know. want them for a future game. I say we play it hardcore, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't um, uh, Seven Wonders Duel Legacy. You don't tear up cards in this game. <laughs> um, so what do I mean by military? Now, there's other ways you could win this game. It could go through the three ages. Now, this is age one. We have age two. We have age three. If it gets all the way through age three, and what I mean by that is that all the cards have been taken from age three, then we're just going to go to a victory score pad, and then we're going to see who won the game based upon, you know, adding up our scores. However, 
There is a way to end the game early, two different ways in fact. One way is a military victory. For each time you gain a symbol and you put it in your city, you get to march toward your opponent's city that many spaces. So for instance, I have one military, and stop it, you you do not get to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and as you march to your towards your opponent's city, you can destroy stuff, well, boom, you know, they lose two coins, and now you have the potential of gaining five victory points at the end of the game. All the way to 10 victory points listed here, but if you march at all nine spaces, you instantly win the game. So it's, it's a way to try to balance to where somebody's just not gonna go strictly just one way and one direction because um, if you see somebody going heavy military you've got to counter it you can't just keep con concentrating on on uh, resources or yellow cards or blue cards um, you got to pay attention to what your opponent's doing now the other way you could possibly win as well is with science if you notice we have these little symbols like there's a little wheel there's a little uh, like it looks like medicine this looks like um, I would say like mathematics or possibly like a art architecture I don't know what that would be exactly anyways regardless if you collect uh, six different uh, symbols you win the game as well um, now, the other thing with science is, is that if you collect two of the same symbols, you get to take uh, one of these little uh, green uh, circle thingies up here. And what I mean by that is if you get a wheel and then you get a second wheel, which there are duplicates out here, they're just probably just face down at the moment, uh, you could go up here and you could take one of these um, uh, like titles. Cheat tokens. <laughs> uh, these are extremely powerful. Uh, I'll explain what these are real quick, just so that you guys get a, an idea. This says that if uh, each time you take a military action, you get to march one extra space. This is saying, um, oh goodness, I just looked that up to economy. Hang on, I'll have to look that one up again. This counts as just an extra science symbol. So if you've got five, you get this one. That's your sixth. Bam, you win the game. Uh, this gives you six coins and uh, four victory points. And this here says that you're going to gain three victory points for each one of these tiles that you have in front of you at the end of the game. The economy, it's economy. I can't remember what that one is. You gain quick. the money spent by your opponent when they purchase resources through trade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so instead, instead of it going, going to the bank, bank it comes to you so i am first player um now obviously in seven wonders what you want to do you, you always want to try to build up your resources but what you also want to do is you want to be smart because you want to build your wonders so i see i need stone i need stone i need stone i don't need wood don't need wood don't need wood don't uh, i only need one wood i only need one paper stone is going to be important i need stone so i'm going to pay the one coin to the bank and I'm going to gain a stone. Now that doesn't turn over a card, but now Carmen has her choice of any one of these five. Okay, well, um, kind of upset that he took that stone because if you look at this wonder, yeah, but you need paper it's going to require every single one. three stones. But yes, um, paper. I was after paper and stone both, unfortunately. That He's not going to let me have both. That ain't going to happen. But uh, here's the paper, so I'm going to take that. And then you got to pay the one. I'm going to put that in my tableau and pay my one coin to the bank. Okay, so we still don't know any of these other cards because they haven't been 100% um, uh, uncovered yet, so they don't turn over. The wood would be for free. I don't uh, necessarily need a lot of wood. One wood would be sufficient to last me the game at the moment to build my wonders. Um, I don't really like going for blue so early. This costs two money. I don't want to spend the two money, and I don't want to spend the three money at the moment either, to be honest. I'm just going to no. just take the wood. That's kind of like the easiest one, but let's see what turned over. Ooh, a science symbol has turned over, but that will cost two to be able to get. Now, notice we got a little book symbol up here. All right, this will be a free build ability. You notice a, a like a water drop. Notice that. Notice that there. The palisade, and then the uh, the moon. What these what this means is that some of the new cards in the next ages will possibly have that symbol down here, and that is a free build action. So if if uh, let's see what this is. This is the scriptorium goes into my tableau. A card in probably age two is going to pop up that's going to have that book somewhere listed in the uh, the cost to be able to build. What that means is that you don't have to pay any of the costs. So like the two money, you would not have to pay that. You would just simply get to build it for free. It's a chain ability. That's one thing I like about this game is that you can use the symbols instead of having to uh, look at the words. Are you I think, going science? I think it's a little easier to... Look at the symbols. Yeah, but um, I'm going to pay my two coins for that. Ooh, I am not happy that you already went science. That's got me scared. Yes. I mean, <laughs> what else was I going to do? I'm gonna pay three coins for that? No thanks. Yes. That's the bad part about going first is that you turn over the, the new cards for your <laughs> opponent quicker. Um, let's see. So if I take this one, this card turns over. Yay. If I take this one, that one turns Woo. over. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> which Carmen is obviously very excited about. <laughs> uh, let's see. I, I'm going to go... Oof, I don't really want to spend two coins right now, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to go military, and I will spend the two coins. So I spent two coins because that was the cost. Now we'll turn this card over, bum, bum, bum. which is another military, but I have one military symbol. That means I will march one space Ooh. towards Carmen's city. So I need eight more spaces, and I can win the game. I, I kind of, I'm gonna need brick, but <coughs> that's so expensive. It I is mean, expensive. I agree. And but you I don't could know if it's gonna it. pay for itself, you know. Yeah, you could just discard it for the two coins, though, too. Um, but I think I'm gonna take this. Yeah, it's free, man. The thing is, if I take this, it uncovers two cards. That's <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. Come on, you jerk! <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna play. Me I'm gonna play a game of chicken when it comes to uncovering cards. <laughs> so that's gonna march. So the, that was uh, free. And then it goes right back towards the middle. Ha <laughs> So, so you might ask yourself, how come she got hers for free, but I paid for mine? Well, mine will eventually have a free build ability. Yeah. Possibly, possibly. So um, I built the Palisade. It cost me two coins, but I might build my next card for free. Yeah. This, possibly. This guard tower was almost a waste. I almost think I should have taken the coins for it. Yeah. Well, let's see. I, if I take this one, all you're going to do is just take that one. And I know you will. <laughs> so I'll just take this one for free. Oh. Um, that'll uncover two cards. She'll get her choice. Ooh, there's a brick for one coin. Oh, and then glass. Okay, that was a good choice because now whatever one she takes, I'll I probably just end choose. up taking the other one. <laughs> Looking over here at Tim's Wonders, I see he needs a lot of bricks. I, I, I need lots of bricks. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at my Wonder, I have bricks on two of them. I have glass on two of them as well. So it's really, you know... It doesn't matter to me. One or the other. It doesn't so matter. I'm going to take the one he needs yeah, the most. Of course you will. So that cost you one coin to do that. So I got to put that there and pay my one coin. What ifs? What and ifs? What did I uncover? Nothing, oh, another, just the baths. Uh, so it's not a big deal with that. I, I, what was funny was I actually wanted the glass more than the brick. So that uh -huh. worked out well. So uh, I'm just going to put my glass here because it, it is a resource now. I'll pay my one coin, one coin for it. Um, but that did free up, uh, now this free brick as well, yeah. which she could grab. This is kind of a tough choice because really I only need two bricks total. So, uh, you know, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. And then this, yeah, I could build for free and mm, I get a symbol. A dagger, yeah. So that's kind of cool. I think I'm going to take this so that he'll have to pay me for bricks in the future. So. <laughs> future! Future! Uh, I always hate draft. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to take this one, but I don't want this card. So I'm not going to pay to build it, alright? So I don't need to pay the three money. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it right up here, and I'm going to build this wonder instead. Oh. Um, this would cost me one, one glass, one wood, and two stone. Well, I only have one of each of those, so I'm missing a stone. So I would need the second stone, which means I can buy that from the bank. So it would cost me two coins to do that, so I'll put my three up there. I'll take one coin. Um, but I did build my first wonder. Uh, what this means now is I get to destroy a gray card in her tableau. No! So we're going to get rid of this. Oh, so uh, that was a great exchange. So this that's card now nice. is out of the game. Um, the other thing is I will get one military action, so this will march back towards you. I'm scared. And at the end of the game, if uh, it does go towards the end of the game, this will count as three Let's victory points uncovered. for me. Ta-da! Uh, so that was basically, I, 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 did, I destroyed the, the, the one for, where did it go? Oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't destroy it. I used it to build. Uh -huh. It was for brick, but now it's for stone. So that actually could work out well for you. I don't even know what I'm going to do now. If you look at the pyramids, uh, in order to build that, I'm going to need paper and Man, three stones. A lot of stone. You are not even close I just don't, to that. I don't see that ever happening. I really ever, don't. That's ever, nine ever, victory ever. points, and I just don't see it happening. Never, ever, ever. I mean, if I grab this, that takes all of my money, and that just makes stone cheaper in the future. It doesn't actually produce stone for me. We can always just discard it. Then. Plus, yeah. it uncovers a science symbol for ten. Science! I'm just not happy with this choice at all. <laughs> hey, look, no matter what, no you matter are what, going to uncover that for me no matter what. Okay? I am, look, I'm uncovering your something. Turn, right, right. My turn, your turn. <laughs> no matter what, you are taking that card. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. I think I'm going to take this because it's free. Oh, okay. Free! Free! So 
So that will march it back to oh, my Oh, the camera is just doing terrible. Up here, okay. so floop. And then we do uh, flip this card over now. Let's see what was on. Oh, it's another science or uh, a military. military. Hmm. So I just noticed that we had four different science symbols come out in the very first round. We have the writing. We have the wheel, we have the medicine, and we have the triangles. Triangles. <laughs> um, <laughs> music class. Um, that's a big deal. There is no way. If somebody gets all four of those in the first age, I mean, that would pretty much seal the deal. Yes. The game would be probably won by give me, give me, give me. via science. <sighs> that's not going to happen. Uh, so I am thinking I can, I can do this for free, so I'm going to. No. So I'm going to take that, and the reason I can do it, for free, basically, is because I do have the wood, so I can build it. Uh, that will not uncover anything, but it also will march one more space towards Carmen. Now, if I cross this little dotted line here, she's going to have to uh, get rid of two coins. Ooh, let's make that happen. I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy with this at all. You might as well just get rid of that one. If I, I could get rid of that one and get two coins, I, mean, no I, matter I don't what, have any yellow cards. No matter what, both of us are probably going to walk out of this age with two science one way or another, right? I'm going to get rid of this one and get two okay. coins, and so we'll see what I uncover. This goes away. Oh, thank you. Stone. That actually uh, worked out well for me. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. <laughs> hey, give me my two coins. <laughs> Man, the ball is in her court now. This is, oof. She's got five money, which means that she has enough money to be able to get both of these now. Um, I've only got one coin, which means I do not. Uh, so do I uncover this one, which would set it up to where, you know, I, I could get rid of this and get two coins. That would then allow her to have capacity to either free stone or she could spend um, the coin to be able to, uh, to spend three she'd coins. have to spend three because she'd have to spend two and then one extra because I do have glass mm -hmm. to be able to get this. That doesn't help her a ton. I think she would end up going stone and then she would make force me to have to make the decision between these two. Um, oh, but I don't, but if I take this, she can only just spend two, which then means then I have to get rid of that. Then she could take that. See, I can't take that stone. <laughs> I can't take the stone because she's in a perfect position. So I have to get rid of this, and I have to take uh, two coins for that. Man, I mean, that just worked out so well in your favor. That 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 really stinks. <laughs> so, yeah, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the stone. Oh, yeah. Because I'm going to need that stone. You did exactly as I expected. And now I'm still going to get a science. Yeah. I just get one of them, and I don't get to choose which one, but who cares? Right. Well, if I only get one science, I might as well take the one that's going to be free for me. I shouldn't take that. Plus, it'll uncover this card. Maybe it'll make it a little tougher on that decision. So I will take this uh, science. That's my first one. Now, that's a free one because I did have the glass. Uh, and let's see. Uh, so it just turned over a blue card. She she is not going to choose this blue <laughs> card over that. But it does mean she's going to walk away with this science, this science, and this science yes. out of the very first age. And that is horrible for me. Obviously, I'm going to take the science. But one thing that I was going to point out was just that for some reason, I thought he was going to have to pay for that. No, no. I didn't no, think I about that, right? But that's Thank goodness. okay. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Um, but I will take this. But you will have to pay for that. You'll and have to I will pay have to money. pay two money because it requires paper. Yeah, and I don't, I don't have, have any paper, so here you go. I'll take your coins. Dog. It's hard for you to reach up there. It and then is. just leave the camera on because um, I will just take, uh, there's no, I have no choice. So I'll just take this yep. and lower it down into my um, tableau. Okay. Which means now as she's set up, she can take yes. that, which will cost her two coins, though. Yes, so, so but, I'm not going to have a whole lot of money now. So let's uh, Sorry. get that down there so they can see. That will cost her the two coins. Yep. So she's only got one coin left in her tableau. So now what happens is, is that if you come up here, um, notice we're out of cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the second age, and um, and then we'll show you exactly who gets to decide who goes first and all that jazz here in just a second. Okay. All right, so we're at the second age. Um, now, who gets to go first? Because this is a big deal. Look, we've got another science up here, which Carmen gets to build for free because of her book here, all right? And because it has the quill here, she's got the quill. Because she has two of the same, she will then get her choice of any one of these little tokens up here, which are game-changing tokens. Um, she could also end up building this one for free, which is a military one. So this is a big deal. Who gets to go first? Well... 
Carmen gets to decide. And the reason is because she's weakest on military. So whomever has this uh, token on their side of the board gets to decide who gets to go first or second. So Carmen, do you want to go first or second? I would like to go first. Ooh, big surprise there. <laughs> well, it's pretty obvious what I should do, but I was trying to uh, decide because once I take this card, which I get to build for free, because uh, yeah, it requires anybody. a book. Uh -huh. And then I have a book. Here, why don't we okay. put those together and then that way. All right. There we go. So I have two writing, which means since I have two of the same science symbol, I get to pick one of these bonus tokens up here. So at the top. I'll, I'll go through them again so you guys know. Remember, um, anytime you do a military action, you get to move one extra space. Um, anytime somebody pays for resources, they pay uh, instead to the bank, they pay you. Um, this is a uh, science symbol. So that would give her her fourth science symbol. She'd only need two more for the win. Uh, six coins, four victory points at the end of the... Well, six coins immediately, four victory points at the end of the game. And this is worth three victory points for each one of them you have in your tableau, including itself at the end of the game. So that's some pretty good stuff. Great I mean, choices, great uh, choices. But I just... I feel like if I don't take... I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. It's hard. Because this could help me oh, win yeah. the game. But it's not really an immediate benefit. You know what I mean? It's not right. helping me right now. This would immediately help me, definitely. Um, but he's kind of scaring me on the military front, to be honest. I don't know why. I mean, it's only one off the middle, but... Yeah, I wouldn't sweat that at the moment. Um, I'm going to take this, because I feel like if I don't take it, I'm yeah. going to regret it. I think so I would take So I'm going to take this. Too. Now I have four science symbols, two more, two more, and I win. Of course, she did free this card up, so let's flip it over and see what we got here. Um... So it's just a blue one. That wasn't nothing to be scared of, right? Uh, so I I don't like either one of these all that much, to be honest. She can build this one for free. Um, I'm going to take this, though. I, I can't build it for free because I don't have that little symbol. Um, I do have wood. I do have stone. I almost just want to get rid of it for the coins, to be honest. But I can build it. Why not? Let's just points. Yeah, so I'll just place it there. Okay, this kind of stinks. I mean, yeah, sure, I can build this for free. But that's going to uncover two cards for him. And he can build this one for free. Which, that'll uncover a card as well. So. Right. No but, matter what a card's going to flip. Um, it's going to give me choices because, you know, he's only going to be able to take one of those. So mm -hmm. I guess I'll take this and we'll and it's see. it's free. It's yeah. free. And it... Because she's got the dagger already, and that was the uh -huh. prerequisite right there. So, And that's going to move this, so it makes me Back a little less scared. <laughs> so... Let's flip over our new two two new cards. Ooh, two wood. And another science. Oof. And I already have... No, I don't have the wheel. Oh. I, I've got the wheel. You have the wheel. So I'm it's, about to get something mm -hmm. sweet because one of those is a sweet card no matter what. Well, honestly, this, this really stinks because I don't have enough money to be able to uh, get this because I, I don't have any paper. Um, and, and I don't have the liar right there in the corner so I don't get to build it for free but neither does she so she and she can't afford it either so uh, that's kind of a win-win I guess <laughs> so do I just leave it there I get I don't know I mean I can build this for free though and um, because I do have the stable right here so I can put that down in my uh, little spot here for free and I think that's what I'm gonna do and, and then I'll just march this right you know I don't know now to think about it it's just gonna go bye-bye we're going to discard it into yeah, the discard pile, and then I'm just going to take coins, which would be uh, two, so I'll just get rid of that one right there. Oh, and then man, that does free stinks. up this card, though, which is another military, and uh, we'll see what happens with that here in just a minute. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much. This is what I'm going to have to do. You're destroying it, aren't you? I'm destroying it. Just put it up there in the discard pile. I knew he was going to do that. So they're just getting the two coins? Yep. Yeah, I know. I couldn't afford it, and you could, so yeah. I had to destroy it. I know. And now, one of these cards is going to be good, so I'll be happy. All right, and then for me, I'm going to go this one, and uh, I'm going to, I think I'm going to build it, so it's going to cost me uh, two because neither one of us have any paper, so there's my two coins for the missing paper, and then uh, I will build that and march two spaces towards no. <laughs> ah. everything that is up here is so expensive 
everything is so expensive and I only have three coins. I'm just, this is killing me. This is going to cost me two coins. This is going to cost me three. So there's no way I'm going to get both of them. I mean, I guess if I'm patient, there's a possibility, but I highly doubt it. So it really stinks. Yeah. Uh, this up here costs two coins and resources I don't have. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Man, I guess I'll take this one. Though, this really isn't the wonder that I was going to go for. But, um, yeah, I'm yeah. going to have to go for that. And it's going to cost it's you two cost coins. It's going to cost me two coins. So now I don't have enough money to do anything. I don't have enough money to do anything. <laughs> It's amazing. Um, the last game we played, I, I shocked her and won with uh, science. Um, science! And she was just destroying me in every other aspect of the game. And I ended up building like almost three science in a row because I got the I got the law. I used uh, one of my wonder cards, uh, which is this yeah, one right this here one. I built. Allowed me to go through the discard, which I grabbed a science from there. And then I ended up building a science as well. And uh, just, I mean, it, it was a great comeback, but it was very close. Um, neither one of us can really afford this one. Uh, she's the closest though. Yeah, actually she could build this. Mm -hmm. I can't let her have this. No! Um, because if she no! takes that, she's going to have two of these Ugh. medicine, which means she'll be able to use that up there again. So I've got to get rid of this one. Oh, Unfortunately, I, I don't have the gear to be able to build it for free, nor do I have enough money and resources to build it either. So it really, 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 really stinks that My I'm pretty hurts. much... <laughs> I'm pretty much just forced to have to get rid of this card, which just, because I can't even use it to build a wonder either. I don't have enough, so it's got to be discarded. I hate, Goodbye, beautiful science hate card. doing that and just taking uh, the two coins, but it, it's a defensive move. Just like, it feels like that we are both being very defensive in this whole game so far. This is terrible. <laughs> this it is really, really is. hard. I'm going to have to get rid of a card for money as well. I'm thinking I'll do this one. That way it doesn't really benefit oh, Tim that's any. that's a good one, though, too. This is a very good card, and, um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. So. <laughs> yeah, Goodbye. Yeah. Give me so, my two coins. Here's your two coins for it. And then um, it's smart you did it that way, though, because otherwise you'd have uncovered two cards. Yeah, I didn't want to uncover another, two so. cards. So I I could... Nope, I can't even afford to make to build that either. Man, and I would love to build that. But I'm missing the one brick. That's what stinks. If I just had one single brick, I could build that. But Carmen, being the brick hog she is, she took all the brick you early. Give me, oh, you don't give me your money. No. You, just, you could pay all your money to the bank and build it. No, I can't. I still can't afford it because no? you have two symbols, yeah. right? So I'd have to pay four money for one oh, brick. Oh, you need seven money. And I need <laughs> seven, and all I got is a five. So wow. that's not going to happen. Um Neither one of these cards. I don't want her to. No. Why leave it for her though? So you know what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, that's what you get. This you game, know what I'm saying. This is terrible. This is the worst game ever. Uh, so flip those over. Oh, oh well, hey, that actually came right back, didn't it? And then, oh gosh, both of those are great. All right, well, we'll see what Carmen decides to do on her turn. Okay, well, <laughs> this is a pretty cool card, but look at this. Let's destroy that motherfucker. <laughs> I don't have four cards. Exactly. What am I gonna do? Well, you could take the Brit uh, stone. I can. You don't really. I, need I could stone, destroy man. this to keep you from getting it. Yeah, because I will take this. But, to be honest, on um, my next turn. I'm gonna take this one for oh, two coins. Oh, for two coins. Look nice at work. all, I look like at all my stone. So I'll take your two coins and pay them to the bank for you. Thank you very much. Oh well. I kind of hate to do this, but I think I'm going to do it anyways. Mm -hmm. We're just going to just get rid of that and uh, get myself two more coins, and uh, we'll see what uncovers here. Prizes! Prizes! Okay. Well, nothing spectacular, so... Um, Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You get to build this for free and you get six coins? Sweet. Yeah, okay. That's a complete freaking ripoff. <laughs> well... Once again, <laughs> I only have one coin, so I can't afford anything else. So I'm going to go for this. Yeah, go figure. Okay. I get six, six coins, coins for, for nothing. Free. Here, I'll get your coin. Seems how it's hard for you Six to gold doubloons. <laughs> but she did free up this brick now for me, and I do need brick. So that actually worked out uh, decent. So that costs two coins for me, but now I've got brick finally. I have decided to build my wonder, so I'm going to take this card, which uncovers these, which I'm not happy about, but I was going to uncover good stuff no matter what, right? So I'm going to put this under my wonder. You're going to destroy and... my brick, aren't you? My that bricks is... that I just got, aren't shh, you? Shh, shh, quiet. 
I hate you. Um, I need stone, wood, brick, and paper. I have stone, wood, and brick. I'm going to have to pay for the paper, which is going to cost me money. two coins each, so that's I got that the point. money. And now I have built my wonder, mm -hmm. which gives me three victory points at the end of the game. I get to move the military token towards Tim, and mm -hmm. it destroys one of Tim's brown cards. Gee, I wonder which one she's going to destroy. Bye-bye, Brick. Shut up. I hate you. <laughs> that was awesome. Cause no, it was not. He just paid for that. That screwed me big time. Ugh. She just clobbered me. I mean, me losing the two brick brown card. I mean, I needed brick for everything. I mean, that just, that one move probably just forced me to lose the game, to be honest. It doesn't that, seem and right. it all was because you were so damn lucky with the money. Ugh. It doesn't really seem very fair that I was able to destroy one that had two on it. Yeah, that's list. that was pretty lame. <laughs> but that, <laughs> that was really freaking lame. All right, well, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to take the paper, but I'm not going to use it for paper. I'm actually going to use it to build a wonder. Uh, we're going to place it right underneath here. Ooh, and um, what that's going to allow me to do now is uh, I have the, um, the stone. I have one glass, but I do have to pay... Two for the other piece of glass, and then I have to pay four for the brick. So that's going to cost me. Yeah, so I don't know if this is a smart move or not, but it really, I don't know if it's going to matter at the moment. So that will cost me six coins to do that. Um, that gives me six victory points for the end of the game, which we're probably not going to reach. Um, but it also gives me another turn, so I immediately get to go again. Uh, with that next one, I'm going to take this one. I cannot build this. I lost my brick. Somebody destroyed it just now. <laughs> so I have to discard it. That was a, such a I could have built ugh, that. ugly. Yeah, I know you could have. <laughs> that was such an ugly move, but I can't let you have that military either. So I'm going to destroy that, and then uh, now it's going to go back to Carmen, which she will be forced to take that card. Well, I only have three coins, so this card is going to do me no good. So <laughs> the problem is, my decision is, do I take it um, to build a wonder? Or do I destroy it for three coins? Because I do have this. Yeah. I would end up with six coins if I destroy it. Uh, uh, I didn't think about that until after I turned the camera on. So let me look. <laughs> if I had six coins, would it help me build one of these other yeah, wonders? Uh, I don't think I could still build it. Because I would need two glass and a paper. And I don't have any of that. Yeah. So I still wouldn't be able to build it even with six coins. One, two... No, no, Three, no. four... You'd be close. Wait. Yeah, I could. Um, because you don't have glass or paper. I've got one glass. Oh, well, then I couldn't. So, what I will do is I will take it and I will build a wonder. I'm going to build this one. That's my pyramid. It gives me nine points at the end of the game. That's all it gives me, so and it doesn't really help me at the you moment. You don't have paper, right? So. I don't have paper, so I had to pay my two coins for that. And even though I really don't need it, I mean, I would just be destroying this... Um, but I will just take the glass no. and just make it at least a little bit more expensive for her for glass in the future, I guess. <laughs> so if you look at my wonders, you can see why he took the glass from me. This this is, entire game is hate drafting, I swear. It, the whole thing has been. <laughs> it's not, I mean, this game is not hate drafting, <laughs> but this particular game has know, been man. hate drafting. Okay, know. well, I can actually take this for free. Yeah. So, you know, because I have the stone. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and build that, and that's two military. <laughs> All right. All right, now we're going into age three, so we'll get that set up, and uh, we'll be right back, guys. All right, so because I am weakest on military, I get the option of choosing who goes first. Um, so what I'm looking at here is, is that neither one of us, she could, no, she can't build this one. Uh, she can't build this one. So she can't build either one of these. I can't build either one of them either. But whomever takes one of these is going to turn something over, which uh -huh. could possibly be built. So I guess what I'm thinking is, is maybe I just pass and just let her be first player. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So Carmen, you'll be first player. Well, since he can't build either one of them, my choice really depends on what I want to uncover. <laughs> um, I guess I'll take this one. And I will discard it for three coins. Yeah, at least you get three coins. Yeah. Because of your rip off. Of my, <laughs> my, my awesome so free that card. Did here. turn this over, which is another science oh. symbol. Um, this would be your fifth one if you was able to gain it, which obviously you're not going to. I'll just destroy it because that's all I can do anymore. Oh yay! <laughs> I mean, this is just getting. 
because she destroyed my brick, I literally cannot build anything. It is that bad. Um, and then all I'm doing now is just going to go, just having to destroy cards just to try to get money to prevent her from getting them cards. Uh, a little stupid in my opinion because, I mean, this one here, that would give her her fifth scientific symbol. I can't let her have that card. Uh, because I know then that she has this card, which she's eventually going to be able to build, and I know she will, which is going to allow her to go through the dis discard pile and get her sixth uh, symbol, which means she instantly wins. So just because this whole game has turned into, like you said, nothing but just hate drafting, I have to destroy that card to do nothing but gain two coins out of the bank. This is the weirdest game we've played yet. As Tim just pointed out... Um... If I build this, I get to go through the discard pile and build something for free. And I really want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. Um, I, I need seven coins to build this and eight coins to build this. And either one of these is a huge deal to build. So I'm really tempted to just destroy a card and get three more coins. Why not? Really tempted. But here's the thing. If I take this... That's three military that's marches three towards me. three military. One, two, three. And of course then... That would destroy two of my coins. That destroys two of my coins, which of course will put me... Basically my last um, turn would be... That would still be pretty far off from winning though. I don't think that's really going to help me win the game. You would still need what? You'd be I one, two, three. still, if you, right? Yeah, so you'd be right here. Then you need one, two, three, four, five more five still. Five more to win. So probably that's not really going to help me win. Um, if I were to destroy this for three coins then or discard, uncovers two, then it uncovers two. So I don't think that's really a great deal. So I think. But you do build that for free, don't you? No. No, it would cost you it two money. It would cost me yeah. money. So I think I will discard that for three coins. <laughs> it's the game of discard. Exactly. So where this is going to hose me is if I, which I have to, I have to destroy this. I can't. I can't do nothing. I can't build because I do not have brick anymore. Um, if one of these two is a science symbol, that will end up being game. There's just no way around it. So there's my two coins. Let's turn these two over. Not a science symbol and not a science symbol. Oh, man. That is the only thing that really saved me is that they were not science. If one of them was, she could have gobbled it up. Then she just bides her time to try to build her wonder, and then she takes the other science symbol out of the discard pile. Um, I made a mistake. Because Did you kiss a snake? See, uh, he has two glass. Yeah. So that means this is going to cost me a little more. Oh, it's going to cost eight, eight. That's ten. It's going to cost me ten to build this. Yeah. Um, and then this one would cost me one, two, uh, six, seven, eight to build this one. So eight to build this one, ten to build this one. Shoot. So you're just a little short. I'm, I'm one short right now to build anything. Yeah, you're um, fine. You're fine. And then what was it? It was eight for this one and ten for this one. Ugh. That stinks. Well, well, uh, I, I, I could show you something over here real quick if you want. So slide over here to the... Yeah. Okay. So this one right here gives you two money for each one of your wonders already built. Yes. You've already built one, right? Two I've of built them. two you've already. Built two. Yes. If you take this one right here... Yeah. Okay. I know. All right. Well, all yeah. right. If you know. I can take this one for free. Yeah. That's what so, I'm saying. Um, but then that uncovers this that he can build for free and then he can afford to build this. So that's 10 points then basically it, that I'm giving him right there. And this would uncover. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. It, it's, You're it's fine. A, You're fine. Um, I would take that. I guess I'll yeah. take this for free and, and we'll and put then, it Once again, you're there. marching two towards me as well, which bum, destroyed bum, my bum. two coins. So. It only destroyed two coins, though. He's got lots no, of coins. No, but if you would have uh, used that other one, you'd have been one, two, three, and then you're only three away from actually yeah. winning. Yeah, well, I don't know. It, it, I don't think it's that way. I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah. I think you got me. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, I might as well just take that, because I can build that for free, like she said, because I do have the little symbol there. So, hey, I built something. I just didn't discard Woo. for uh, coins again. And then, look, more military for Carmen. She very well could win this game off military or science at this point. Got rid of that one, though. That's why. If I would have taken that one military card... One, two, three, you would have been here, which yeah. means you would have been three away from victory. Right, but as it is, I'm six away, so I just don't see the military helping me that much at this point. Not. Um, so I'm going to take Well, this. but keep in mind, I want to show you something else. Yeah. At the end of the game, if it does go to the end of the game, you will get that, which destroys five of my <sighs> coins, and you're going to get ten victory points That's at the end of the game. Sweet. So keep that in mind as well. Yeah, ooh, I could destroy all of your coins. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
It's I'm all gonna, in your favor. I'm going to take moment. this for three coins, actually. So, so I'm going to discard right. that and get, get my three coins. coins. There you go. Thank you. So I, I know what she's doing. I mean, she's actually going to be a win-win with either one of these. It doesn't matter. Uh, this has given her one coin for each one of her military cards, which she has a gazillion of. <laughs> um, this has given her two coins for each one of her wonders that she is, which is four. So um, neither one of them's really benefiting me very much. She's going to have to pay for this one. She would not have to pay for that one. So because um, she has the barrel on this one here, that the chump card that she got. Uh, I could build this for free if I wanted to because of my uh, little uh, palisade here, which would allow me to take that for free. But then that would uncover that, which then would be, once again, giving her, just handing her a victory. Um, if I can build it, I'm, I'm, I might as well. Um, it doesn't matter one way or another. It's a half a dozen one or another. It's going to cost me four to be able to build this because um, I don't have any brick, remember? <laughs> and... Uh, and I would I have, have to two. pay two, and she's got two. So I do have wood, and I do have stone. So I will build that card and place it there. And you get your money right Now, back. that would have cost me four, but I get it back because it does say that I get two uh, coins for each one of my uh, wonders that have been built. So at least that, you know, was kind of a wash for me in a way. Okay, I've made a decision. I'm going to take this card. Okay. And... I'm going to build this wonder right here. This well, is going to cost me wonder, eight coins to build because I I'm missing one wood, the glass, and the paper. Okay, so I, so I have two coins, coins left. Um, that's going to give me four victory points at the end of the game, and I get to pick a little. Um, so what she does is she's going to draw three of these, mm -hmm. and then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just spread them out like that, turn over three of them, and you get one of the three. Okay, Ugh, that's, that's not, not going to be good helpful. One. That's sort of helpful. And that's not the one she wanted. I want this one. Um, that's going to allow her now to build her every... Her, well, it's her last one. She's only got yeah, one. Yeah, I only left. have but one, she, one, she one gets left. She gets to uh, basically ignore two of the uh, resources it costs. So Which she's is... going to be able to build her next one easy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, then this card should have been flipped. Oh, great. So basically now <laughs> I, it's back to me just having to hate take stuff. I mean, it's just, I, I, I can't let her take that because if she does, then that's, that's it. That, that's going to be it. There's no way around it because well, she will, you got four. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you're going to be able to hang on. It's trying to focus, but you're going to be able to build this now, no doubt on your next turn. Oh, okay. There's no doubt about it. So I have to get rid of this just for no other reason than per, to prevent her from winning science. So I really don't even have a choice to go for that one at all. Um, which I don't even think I can build this, which it would give me three victory points. Um, that would be, I've got one wood that would cost me then four for the wood because of her, nothing for that. And then two. So it cost me five. It'd take all my money to build this. If uh, I no, wanted it'd to cost you six, cost Sorry. me six, two, four, five, six. Yep. So, well, we know what my turn is discard. Well, I do get three coins this time though, uh, at least yeah, finally. Woo. Rich. Well, I'm going to go ahead and build my next wonder. So I'm going to take this one because it would do Tim the most good if he gets it. So, And uh, that's going to build this wonder, which I need two bricks, two glass, and a paper for. I have the two bricks. I can ignore the two, two glass. glass. Yep. Um, so I just have to pay for the paper, which is two, two coins. Yep. And I have built this, which is going to allow me to take one of the discarded cards and put it in my tableau. Yep. So you know what she's going for? I am and going it for is right this wheel. The wheel right there. And it, that means that is her fifth science that she has gained now. So all I need is one more. So it's not really a choice. I can't really give her that. I mean, if I give her that, that that's game once again. Um... I, I have to go for this one, which I can build for free, but if that's a science, that will be game as well. Um, I have no choice. I do get to build this for free because of my uh, my little archer oh, right there. Cool. That turns this over, and it is just another military, and it takes eight coins Ooh. to build. Um, now, that does march it back at least two spaces to back uh, towards the, her direction. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to take yep. this and destroy it for three coins. Shocker, right? <laughs> Shocking, I know. Yeah, and then that'll end up being game most likely. So there's your three coins, and then All Carmen's right. got the game one. 
it just astounds me that that one brown card lost me the entire game. And you wouldn't have even been able to do have done that if it wasn't for you getting that. <laughs> I just, oh, wow. It all, basically, that's it. So um, I can build this for free, which ain't going to mean Jack, um, which will move it two spaces back towards Carmen's direction. Carmen now can take this. Um, it's not. I don't believe that you have any issues trying to build that, right? It's free. It's for free um, because of the liar right there. Because mm -hmm. she got the wheel out of the discard pile. That was the liar. So that is her sixth symbol, and that just that went won her the game automatically. So we don't even go to victory points or anything like that. Um, it all really came down to you destroying my, my brick card because mm -hmm. that prevented me from building any wonders from over here. Because if I had enough money, I could have built this one, which would have given me another action, which meant then I could have taken that and then destroyed it. And then you would at least not have had access to it. Right. But it just wasn't even a possibility. So either way, well played. I mean, you had a, a mindset that you were going to go for science and you did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, that was a really... And what's interesting about that is that in order to go for science, I had to build my wonders. Yeah. So that really played well into your hand. And I think you played a very good game. So very good. Good game. And uh, check out our other video. And we're going to give you guys our opinion of what we think of Seven Wonders Duel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.